Hey, what's up? It's Peter, Restricted Arts. Um, yeah, all right, today I'm going to be making a video just real quick on how you can make your own brushes and stuff in Photoshop and how you can save them so you can use them whenever you want. So, real quick to just say you want to make a brush based off, uh, let's just do, let's just search a leaf or something of Google Images. Um, and if you, you want to grab something fairly highish quality, but uh, it's not too important. Let's just some, something easy like this because anything too complex it causes problems when you scale the brush up and down in size. But uh, yeah, so just copy this image, go into Photoshop, hit Control N to make a new document, and then Control V to paste it in. And uh, yeah, you need to make sure it's black and white. This already obviously already is, but if it's not, just hit Control Shift U on your keyboard, and that'll make it black and white. <laughs> black and white right away um, yeah so then all you need to do really is just this is already the size we want this small area of this brush you just go edit um, define brush pattern um, oh sorry I don't need to do it for this for this example so to say but if you want to if you want the brush to just be a certain area of your image then you just select it just with any selection tool you want. Edit, define brush preset, and then you can just give it a name. I'm just going to keep it as sample brush. And then that's it. Uh, make a new layer real quick. I just hide this. Go to your brush. And it should be all the way down at the bottom. Sorry. It's Here it is. And there's your brush. So you can want it to be black if you're painting on white and yeah you can see you can do that with anything and uh, yeah also there's tons of brush packs to download off YouTube if you want some you can see I have a ton of brushes you can things get you can get really intricate with brushes get really intricate and do you can do lots of different things with them so uh, yeah uh, thanks for watching and that's it